What's up, DFS players? I have another prize picks entry for you. I have a WNBA player prop and I have an MLB player prop. So we're going to go through them. Again, how prize picks works, because our entry is going to be a two pick entry today, is any two props you select, you're going to be getting 20 to win 60, 20 to win 40 in profit. So that's just plus 200 odds. So we've gone through the math before. Um, there will be a video in the end screen if you're looking to learn more about the math behind prize picks. But essentially what this means is the implied price that prize picks is giving you is minus 137 in a two pick entry. And the reason is if you have a two leg parlay where both bets are minus 137, then your parlay is going to come out to plus 200. So because prize picks is giving you plus 200 on any entry, they're essentially giving you minus 137 implied odds on all of your props, minus 137 juice on both sides. So for example, if we look at the WNBA tonight, and this is going to actually be my first pick, we're on Sabrina over 16 and a half points, right? Prize picks has minus 137 as the implied odds for the over and the under, minus 137 juice on both sides. So obviously that's a lot of juice baked into their market when you think about it, right? Most sports books are like minus 110, minus 110 for player props. Prize picks is minus 137, minus 137. But the fact that prize picks doesn't vary your payout, depending on if you select the over the under, means you can find some pretty good value. So the first pick I'm going with is going to be Sabrina over 16 and a half points. I think she'll have a strong game tonight. Um, we have Sky Liberty. She's averaging like 17.2 points on the season. And most importantly, you can see this is a clear line discrepancy between prize picks and the sports books, right? The sports books are setting her point total at 20 and a half, and we can get over under 16 and a half on prize picks. So this is in Sky Liberty. Um, the Liberty actually pulled up a pretty massive upset last game. And we can see here, this is a huge line discrepancy between where prize picks is setting the line and where the sports books are. So we definitely want to go with the over, right? Prize picks is literally a full four points lower than the entire sports betting market. So you can see in this game, if we just want to look through the money line odds briefly, the Liberty are pretty big underdogs. Plus 430 is the best price you can get on them. Best odds on the sky is minus 495 on Pinnacle. So that's the first player prop I have. Now the second prop I have is an MLB prop. And this bet has a 10.66% profit margin. So ridiculously high profit margin. And it's Jeffrey Springs under two and a half earned runs. So you can see right here that Caesars is pricing this at minus 164, DraftKings minus 170, and Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book out there, is pricing this all the way at minus 212. So this bet has a profit margin of 10.66%, right? Typically when you can get something that's minus 210 on the sharpest bookmaker and you can get it in your prize picks entry, you wanna hammer it. So you can see right here, I locked it in. Jeffrey Springs under two and a half earned runs, Sabrina over 16 and a half points. I think this is a ridiculous value prize picks entry for tonight. You can see right here, you know, this is a clear line discrepancy. All the sports books are pricing this minus 164 to minus 212. And we're able to get this in our prize picks entry at the implied odds of minus 137. So lock it in WNBA MLB cross sport parlay and let's make some money.